All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Buccaneers Daily. My name is Jackson. I post daily Bucks content, so hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Another beautiful day here in Southwest Florida. They're all beautiful days. We're going to react to a power ranking article here because, you know, Tampa's 2-0 right now, but they're still behind at least Buffalo in... When I hear people talk about, you know, kind of like who's the best team in the NFL, they're usually behind Buffalo and they're actually usually behind Kansas City. So this article has them at three. I would have to agree with that. I, I think that by the end of the season, they will be one or two. But right now the offense is, they're not struggling, but it's going to take some time. Right? It's just going to take some time, especially when we look at the wide receiver room. It's a little bit depleted. You have Chris Godwin injured. You have Julio Jones banged up still. You have Mike Evans suspended now for next week. So we might even see Cole Beasley suit up and see significant targets because if you look back to last week against the New Orleans Saints, who you know Dennis Allen has kind of sarcastically owned, kind of had not owned him, but you know Dennis Allen is a very smart guy and he's kind of been Tom Brady's kryptonite recently Scotty Miller led the team with eight targets so this next week I think you're gonna see Russell Gage I think you're gonna see I do think we will see Cole Beasley but as far as power rankings go right now I agree with three I think that their defense is to me the best defense in the entire league I think you could probably make an argument for Buffalo but I, Dallas and New Orleans, I mean, those are two playoff teams right there. Those are two playoff teams. Dallas looked like a top five defense, so I don't know. I don't really think, I don't put too much stock in Ryan Tannenhill and the Tennessee Titans offense, but I will give credit where credit is due. So top five, undisputed. I don't think there's a single soul out there who can dispute that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are a top five team in the NFL right now, regardless of the fact that Tom Brady and this offense, they haven't started clicking yet. The run game, playoff Lenny, he's done a phenomenal job. I would imagine we'll start seeing more Rashad White as well. Just not – with the wide receivers, man, it, it's kind of next up. That running back room should be able to continue throughout the entirety of the season. But this is why you signed Russell Gage, right? This is why you have Kyle Rudolph. This is why you went out there and got Cole Beasley is to – first off, insurance, but also to just become more versatile, become more creative. So I think the offense will start clicking. I don't know if it's necessarily going to happen next week with, I mean, Gowan's out, Mike Evans is suspended. Julio, you never know. I would rather have Julio take the Buccaneers, take a safe approach with Julio Jones. So I don't know if we'll see Julio suit up next week or this weekend, I should say. And then you have I think we'll see a lot of Russell Gage. I think we'll see a lot of Cameron Bray and hopefully a little bit of Cole Beasley because if you guys watched my video two days ago, I'm a big Cole Beasley supporter on this team. The Buccaneers defense, they should be able to limit Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay or at least neutralize Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers offense, which also has... It's not like they're dysfunctional. They're just, they haven't started clicking yet. So these are two teams right now where their offenses are, they look a little rusty, I think. Not, not too many reps, both Tom with our receivers, Aaron Rodgers with his receivers, not too many reps so far. So I think this is going to be a really nice defensive football game. This isn't a preview video by any means, but stay tuned for that. Hit that sub button if you guys haven't already. It's going to be a great game. And I think we're really going to learn a lot about, all right, the Bucks on the road took down Dallas, on the road took down New Orleans. If they can get through Green Bay with everything that's going on right now, they're a ter I mean, they already are a terrifying team. But that's when I think teams or national media, what have you, might start looking at Tampa Bay thinking, oh, yeah, how, I, it's not like we forgot about them, but... They might be the team to beat. So let me know what you guys think about the Bucks right now. Go ahead, 1 out of 32, drop where you would put them in the power rankings. As always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for daily Bucks content. All my links are down below, and I'll see you guys later.